Hello, water signs, sun, moon, and rising. This is Dean. I hope you're doing well. Welcome and or welcome back to my channel where you receive divine guidance and encouragement. To my current and new subscribers, thank you for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you are browsing in YouTube and you've come across my channel, it is not by coincidence. This is a divine connection, so go ahead and press that subscribe button and join us here because I would love to have you. Also, I invite you to join me on Instagram at you are following D2. So water signs, this is a general love reading which comes to you from the messages of love oracle cards. Now the message may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. So let's get to your message. God Most High, Angel Spirit, Guides, Beings of Love and Light, the Holy Spirit, what is the divine guidance and encouragement for the water signs that's for their well being? All right, let's take your card on the top and let's take your card on the bottom as well. Okay, so you have on the top um, obstacles. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. So with that being said, you're being encouraged to take the time to work on wounds from the past by engaging in some form of healing practice so that you can um, move forward more effectively and more positively in your relationship. But having unhealed wounds um, is slowing down the progress that your relationship could be experiencing. Um, in fact, I feel like it's causing you to bring up past experiences and that's causing a block in your relationship. So as you heal those wounds from the past, you will find that there's no need to bring them up to revisit them in your current relationship. Even if your current relationship, excuse me, is with the person that may have caused those wounds. Because once we have healed, we've healed. So engage in some form of healing practice is what's recommended so that it will help you to um, be open to your current relationship blossoming and growing beyond your wildest dreams but it takes for the past wounds to be healed. Okay, now let's get your card that was on the bottom of the deck. It says soulmate. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you. Wow, that's so beautiful. And so your soulmate is the person that you're with and um, a soulmate it's here to, it works both ways. Like you are able to bring the yin and yang element to the relationship. So your soulmate is someone who is here again to bring that balance in the relationship and realize and understand that your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you. And because of that, it is important to allow for there to be an opportunity to engage in healing, some sort of healing practice to heal the wounds that are causing, that are causing um, blockages in forward moving in your relationship. It's not that the relationship is not progressing, but it's not progressing in the fashion in which it could because of unhealed wounds. But again, your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you. And a soulmate is someone who is bringing balance to the relationship. You and the person just have a divine connection that is unexplainable. It's not like a twin flame. Like, yes, we all are learning lessons from each other, but a soulmate is not here to teach difficult lessons like a twin flame. That's something completely different. And um, a soulmate brings balance in the relationship. It's a divine connection. And in order for it to flourish, allow some time to heal. 
engage in some form. There are so many ways to heal from past wounds. Um, for example, me myself having to deal with past relationship wounds, I engaged in um, some breath work exercise, which really helped me. Also, I engaged with uh, healing meditation that helped me tremendously. Uh, it doesn't happen overnight, but it does happen. Once you're engaged with the practice and are determined to stay focused on working on the healing, you will find that the healing will begin to be evident and you'll see the progression in your relationship. I also did like a release practice as well, like I wrote out um, during the um, full moon, what I wanted to release um, with regards to past relationships where there were wounds that were not healed. So I wrote it all out and then in a safe um, in a safe place, I just burned it in a safe container where I could just light the paper on fire and just let it burn safely. But always practice fire safety if you engage in something like that. So yeah, that's just what helped me. But there are so many things that can really help you to heal. You have to find what works for you. And there are so many ways um, or so many practices rather that you can engage in that will help you with the healing process because remember you're a soulmate your soulmate loves accepts and respects you and i am positive 100 percent that you also love accept and respect your soulmate as well so this is your message water signs i hope it has been helpful and if it resonates with you thus far please go ahead and press that subscribe button and join us here and also give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment or an emoji in the comment section below. It would be greatly appreciated. So thank you for joining me. I appreciate you. I look forward to connecting to you um, very soon. Take good care of yourself and bye for now.